It's Beauty and the Beast combined in a single sports car. With a throaty roar from the V8 engine that makes the hairs on the back of the neck of every motorsport fan stand on end. We're talking about the Mercedes SLS AMG, 571 PS and 650 Newton meters of torque together that makes zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.8 seconds. Top speed, a full 317 kilometers per hour. So much power even has Formula One star Michael Schumacher hitting the roof, or let's say, happy at least to play a part in a commercial for this super sports car. With some spectacular shots and a dip into the cinematic box of tricks, star and car are presented in dramatic style. The filming with the SLS was certainly very exciting and a lot of fun. They were a super team and everything went very efficiently and I thought the results were really fantastic. Before the season began, engineers at Mercedes high-tech AMG factory converted one of these gems into the new tool of his trade. Bernd Mylander, since 2000, the regular safety car driver in Formula One. He's visibly felt good in his 2010 company car, right from the start. So let me invite you here into my command center. Completely new, redesigned and more clearly laid out. The orange light comes on whenever the car goes out onto the track. Then the silver button, that's the flashlight that you see at the front and back of the vehicle. The flashlight and the orange one are the two most important lights. Shown in the right light, this one-off was officially unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in the cockpit this time. Mercedes GP Petronas driver Nico Rosberg and his teammate Michael Schumacher. Two men who otherwise only see the car from behind. For at times of danger on the track, due for instance to an accident or, as in Malaysia in 2009 extreme rain, the safety car is deployed and takes up position at the head of the field. There are clear rules about the speeds and time windows that you've got to adhere to when the safety car gets deployed. It's the same for everyone. You've got an indicator in the car and you know how fast you're allowed to go until a set point. If you want to go into the pits, you can and you're then free of the restrictions. Otherwise, when you've caught up with a safety car, you drive at its speed. And that's naturally slower than racing speed. In order to ensure safety on the track, for safety first is the main rule in Formula One. However, that can cause problems for the drivers, as F1 racing cars need high speed in order to be able to function properly. Behind the safety car, it's really difficult to keep the brakes and tires at the right temperature because the car goes really slowly and we therefore have to weave left and right to keep the temperature up a bit. We need to brake as well for the same reason and it's often very tricky. That the SLS AMG has got what it takes to hold 24 hot-blooded F1 cars in check is something Nico Rosberg was able to experience for himself, feeling very much at home in his Silver Arrow 2. Normally you can't really compare road cars with a Formula One car, but the cornering speeds are certainly very quick with this car. You can brake very late as well and really have fun, so you can indeed compare it a bit. Thus, pure race feeling for the road and performance that's right up to scratch for the track. The transition from speedy road car to official Formula One safety car is thus just a minor step. There aren't that many alterations, to be honest, as the vehicle was designed to a very, very high sporting standard, and therefore we've just added an extra brake cooling system. The engine is standard, and so is the chassis. It's quite certainly the only road car that gets to drive along at times in Formula One, and what's more, to take the lead too. Always in the spotlight, and sometimes even in the photo studio. Over 11 years in the safety car, Bernd Mylander has chalked up a fair few kilometers leading the F1 field. Twice, in fact, he was first to the checkered flag. Even for the old pro, a very special feeling. 
It makes you proud, of course, but what I prefer most at the circuit is staying put and not having to go out at all. That means the race has gone well, nothing's happened and everything's run to plan. The safety car didn't have to go out. Those are definitely the best races. Whether he's needed or not, Bernd Mylander and the safety car are this season once again always at the ready. However, he's no doubt the only driver hoping to spend the least time possible on the track.